Hey y'all. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, I'm this is my first time in Houston and thank you. Thank you guys so much for coming out. This is what it's all about. Right? This is like this is not what I expected. But it's way better than what I expected. This is so cool. Thank you so much to Pete for having me out. Thank you to the Orange Show. Thank you to you guys for coming. I know it's cold for y'all, so I appreciate you guys braving out the 49 degree weather to come see me. I know it's, that equals zero degrees here. So thank you guys. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the music.
Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. So, thanks. Nice. It's not that cold. It's fine. My hands are cool. But, um, yeah, this, man, being in Houston has been such a cool time. Um, shout out to my friend Eli and his family for showing me around. Um, I went to, where did we go? I went to Whataburger. What no. Whataburger. Sorry, I'm, dang, I feel so stupid. <laughs> not what a burger, what a burger, right? Kind of, eh, okay, that's really good. Top tier fast food. Um, we got really good cake from Empire. It was like as big as my face. I ate almost all of it. It was really good. We got tacos from that really good taco truck. Um, I don't know the name of it, but it was really good. And <laughs> and uh, we went to a boot store. They had like like a thousand pair of cowboy boots. And they, they, the lady was like, do you want to see leather boots or exotic boots? And I was like, what's exotic about the boot? It's a boot. And she was like, what it's made out of. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so we saw that. <laughs> it was cool. Um, yeah, there's a rodeo happening. Has anyone gone to that? Was it cool? I didn't go. I, I thought that was for the best, but um, it, it, seemed, it seemed like, a, anyway, Houston's a great time. It, it's, it, I've had a really great time here. Um, yeah, and, and this is definitely the, 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 the most fun place I've been, um, just learning about the history of this place. And yeah, the, shout out to the Orange Chair for being just eclectic and cool and, and definitely, I guess, a hidden gem here. Um, and I'm a, the first show back, apparently, which is like a huge honor. Thank you guys for, for coming and for having me. Yeah, so the first song I played is currently Untitled. It's like, I don't know, it's probably Untitled number 285,000 in my phone. Um, I need some help naming it. So if anyone has any suggestions, I'm more than willing to hear because I can't come up with anything. That was like 10 different... <laughs> So, one at a time. <laughs> um, what? Orange show? Okay. Did anyone say anything else? <laughs> Where are you? Bet. Okay, hey y'all. I didn't know. Oh, hey guys. Cool. Okay, now I gotta like remember to like. Okay, so you're right. Cool. Exotic boots or the orange show. All right, I'll add that to my list. Those are very high on the list because there's not much on the list at the moment. Thank you guys for having suggestions, actually, that are good. Cool. Um, yeah. No. Because I can't say the name right. What a burger. What, what a... What? Wada. What a... Water burger? Someone said water. Wada. I'm from Virginia. <laughs> I don't have... I say y'all, and that's the gist of that. No, I really wanted to. I'm going to get some custom-made, though, because the store I went to, you could get them custom-made in any size, so I'm going to get some custom boots. Um, I have, Yeah, anyway, I picked some out and everything. Anyway, sorry, this is rambling. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this next song is called Juvenescence, and it's on my record which is called Urban Driftwood. If anyone's listened to it, cool. I recommend it. Um, I think it's a great album. I have some available in the merch uh, store here. Uh, vinyl, CDs. I don't know what people like nowadays. Um, but yeah, this is called Juvenescence. <laughs>
Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. So, for those who don't know, I started playing guitar because I beat the video game Guitar Hero 2 on Expert, um, which is probably the greatest accomplish accomplishment of my life so far. Um, and yeah, so I beat the game, I was around 12 years old, and in the game, has anyone played? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, um, it's fun. And basically, like, when you get to the expert levels, you have to tap. So, for those who haven't played, sorry. There's a controller, um, guitar-shaped controller, and it has five different colored buttons on it. And you have to press the correct color to match whatever is showing up on the TV screen. Um, and once you get to the upper levels, you have to tap really fast on the buttons to keep up. And I really like that tapping motion. So when I got a real guitar, uh, my parents got me an actual guitar after I beat the game. Um, <laughs> shout out to them. I don't know <laughs> why they did that. <laughs> um, but yeah, they did. And um, I got my first electric guitar. And when I got that, I really wanted to like mimic the tapping things that I had to do in the game on a real guitar. I thought it would be easy because, you know, I just beat the game and the game was easy. So, like, whatever. I was incorrect. Um, <laughs> I couldn't really do it at first. Um, it was very hard. I still have a hard time kind of tapping like this, I guess, the normal way. Um, but a couple years on the playing guitar, I realized, like, if I put the guitar in my lap like this, um, tapping becomes... I can kind of sound like the game a little bit. Um, and it's just easier, and you can do more stuff, especially with acoustic guitar, because you can do like percussive stuff, and you can do like karate chop, like harmonic, and you can do like uh, tapping, and whatever you want to do. So, um, does anyone play guitar here? Well, I know Eli does. But, um, anyone? Yeah, okay, cool. So, y'all should try this. <laughs> Um, it's not, it's not that hard. I mean, you know, like, it's, well, it's kind of hard, but I mean, it, it's a good challenge, you know, it, it, you can use your left and right brain and flex your, I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, it was natural for me, I guess, and this next song is called On a Friday Night, and it kind of showcases a little bit of this lap tapping stuff along with this percussive stuff that I do sometimes. Um, also, in the song... Oh, and if anyone has any questions about what I'm doing or, like, what I'm using to do it, just blurt it, because I'm going to forget something. But um, in this next song, I use this hammer, um, which is basically, it, it's a hammer. It's not, it's not an actual hammer. I have used an actual hammer on my guitar, which is not good. Don't do that. Um, that put a hole in it. But what it sounds like and it kind of gives the guitar like a hammer dulcimer type metallic sound which is really cool i googled this i googled guitar hammer and this was the first result um these aren't made anymore so if you want one that's too bad <laughs> they're not made anymore but there's probably something similar or ebay maybe has they don't actually i checked um anyway this next song is called on a friday night <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, that kind of shows a little bit of the lap tapping stuff that I do. Um, but yeah, any any guitars here, it's definitely fun to to play that way. Um, I don't know, should I play a song like this or a song like like this or both? Both? Oh, I'll do one with both. I'll do a flip. So this next song is called I Wonder. And, um, well, uh, actually, this last song has a funny story behind it. So did that song sound happy or sad to y'all? Happy? Yeah? Yeah, so I was miserable when I wrote it. Um, I was very bad off. So I was a freshman. It's, it's not a, really an awe. It, it's, it's fine. So I was a freshman in college. I went to NYU. And I didn't know anybody there. And... I think this was this was definitely the first the first month um, of the first semester I was there, and it was a Friday night, and I didn't have any friends, so I didn't know where the parties were or anything or where the hang was because I didn't I didn't have any friends, so I wrote this song to try to cheer myself up, and it made me feel worse because like the song was cool I thought it was all right but it's not it wasn't gonna help me get any friends, and it was just kind of a waste of time I thought. Um, but college was fine. It turned out great. But that did, I wrote like three songs that were just, I called them the trifecta, that are just like sad college songs. And that's one of them. <laughs> um, so it sounds joyful, but it, it, is, it is not. It's joyful now, but it, it wasn't for a long time. Um, this next song is called I Wonder. And um, I, I'll have y'all guess what it's about after I'm done playing it.
Thanks, y'all. So, um, yeah, what do y'all think that song is about? No. That's a great guess. Spicy. I really like that one. No, but I really like that one. My first Whataburger. <laughs> My first Whataburger. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Michael, Hedges. Michael Hedges. Oh, I like that guess. No, but it should be. That's better. Staying home alone on Friday night. That was the. That was the other side. <laughs> So the first half, yes. But like change the get friends to like, okay, yes. So the song is kind of about politics. Um, but so I wrote it in 2018 and a lot of political things were happening then, obviously. Um, and basically the song is like about, yeah, what you said, like I wonder how, like, how good things are going to get, but apply that to the country uniting and not letting you know politics divide us, and not letting uh, differences in opinions and stuff like that kind of divide us as people. And it's basically just me wondering, like, when us, like, as a country, will focus on what makes us similar, and you know, honor the things that make us different, and just focus on being good people. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. So yes, the first half. <laughs> but um yeah that, that's what that's what that's about it's that's cool I'm, I'm glad you guys weren't like ugh when i said it was about politics because that's usually the response i get um which it doesn't have to be that way politics you know it is what it is but um i guess i'll play a, a happier i guess I'll, i should play a happier song now um this is the only happy song i wrote during college um not that it wasn't a good time it's just, that's just how that happened uh, this is called High Five.
Thank you guys. Thank you. So, does anyone here like Post Malone? Oh, really? That's cool. Um, I don't. Um, but I like, you don't have to be sorry. But I like this one song. Um, does anyone know the song Sunflower? Cool. Yeah, so I like that song. I'm gonna play it. It's the only cover I know, so please give me cover suggestions because I'm gonna retire this song soon because it's old now. And I don't think it's hip anymore. Um, I got a TikTok recently to try to discover like what the youth are listening to. <laughs> like what the cool kids are doing. And I don't like it. Um, I don't get it. I'm 26, but I feel 85. Cause I don't, I just, I don't know. Um, but if anyone has any like, I think this is like a good diverse crowd. So if anyone has any like cover suggestions, So if anyone else has any good um, cover suggestions, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't do that. <laughs> the youth, <laughs> the, the kids, <laughs> what are they listening to? <laughs> um, I would greatly appreciate, huh? Okay, what song? I'll hit you up after. Uh, you, you have time to think. Okay. <laughs> but, okay, I got you. So go back after the show. <laughs> but, um, yes, like that. Um, but not saying your are I'm sorry. But, um, yes, so, yeah, this next song is called Sunflower, Post Malone, Sway Lee. And, um, again, I would gladly take cover suggestions that are hip.
And this next song I use this thing called a kalimba and it sounds like this. And it's a South African instrument. It's really cool. And what I do is basically I have tape on the back and I just stick it on like so and hope it doesn't fall off and kind of just jam it on. And yeah, it's a good time. So I got the idea to play kalimba and guitar together from Earth, Wind, and Fire, if y'all know them. Okay, good. You better. Um, I was about to say. Um, but Maurice White would play these kalimba solos um, during their live performances, and my parents had like a VHS like tape of that that I would watch. I know, right? Like, <laughs> what is that? But they had it, still have it, and I watched it as a kid, and I thought it was the coolest thing. Like, he would play these super long solos with just this little thing. And fast forward to college, I believe my junior year, uh, and I found a kalimba in a guitar center, and I was playing it, and I was like, yeah, this is Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's what I remember. This is cool. So I go to buy it, right? And there's no price tag on it, and the guy, the guitar center sales guy, is, like, typing in the serial number to find the price. <laughs> he can't find the price. It's not online. So I was like, right. I was like... Well, I think it should be free because there's no other price, so that means it's zero. <laughs> and he was like, okay, so I got it for free. Yeah, it's cool. Guitar Center's not usually a cool place. I usually don't recommend people go there, but that day, it was kind of lit, not gonna lie. He helped me out. Um, he probably got fired for doing that. But, I, I still thank him to this day. <laughs> um, but this next song is called Through the Woods. And, um, oh, also what you've been hearing, um, hopefully, are tap shoes. And, um, yeah, that's cool. Um, I just got the idea to do that because a lot of the time I'm doing different things with my hands and they're busy. So my feet are free. So <laughs> why not use them was my train of thought. But, um, yeah, this next song is called Through the Woods. Thank uh -huh.
Can you can you mute this, please? Okay, cool. I don't want to burn y'all's ears. So, um, while I was writing Urban Driftwood, it didn't occur to me until after I was already done recording that I didn't ever consider how I would play some of the tracks live. So, like, some of the songs have four or five guitars in them. And I can't play four or five guitars at the same time. So, huh? I know, right? See, the thing with that is, it doesn't like planes. I have my double neck guitar that I have. I have two now, but they're not plane friendly yet. And plus, that's still not five guitars. That's just two, technically. So, I have to use backing tracks for some of these. And um, this next song, Swift Breeze, uses a backing track, which I still consider kind of cheating, but it is what it is. Oh, what tunings do I have? Or do I use? I use Open D mainly is what y'all have been hearing. Um, but this is not. This is C. C, G, D, G, B, D. Whatever that is, C. <laughs> uh, C, I should know what chord that is because I, I was technically a music theory major. But... It's cold, and I'm forgetting. So, it's C. <laughs> Do you ever use any loop pedals? Oh, yeah, I, I have, yeah. So I recently downsized my pedal board, like recently as in two days ago, and um, I took my looper off because I don't use it often, but I am, like, starting to use it more. I'm trying to, because it's cool, and it makes one guitar sound like many. So it's still cheating to me. Um, but it's less cheating than backing track. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> this next song is called Swift Breeze.
Thank you. Thanks, y'all. So kind of fun fact about that song. I wrote that when I was 15, I believe. Um, yeah. I reworked it, obviously, because I'm a better player now than I was when I was 15. So I can do more difficult things. But yeah, I basically wrote most of that when I was 15. I was still in my hard rock zone then, so that's kind of why that's like gritty. <laughs> basically makes me feel like I can play piano well because I guess when you look at how I play guitar you'd assume I could play piano well right um, I cannot I'm not good but this song kind of makes me believe I am Thank you. 
Thanks, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, that ending can get you if you're, if you're not prepared. <laughs> um... Is it cool if I play a couple more for you? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Starting to get a little chilly. Starting to feel it, but that's okay. I just, I finished a tour in New England recently. Um, like recently, like last week. And it was two degrees there. That was bad. That <laughs> was really bad. <laughs> And there's just the, it, there, there's literally one show. There was a blizzard happening right before, so we thought no one would come, and it was full, it was packed. And I'm like, why are you guys here? And they're like, this is like regular for us. I was like, why do you live here? <laughs> What's the really? I mean, you left snow that much? I don't, I don't get it. I mean, thank you for coming, but I would not have come, <laughs> and it's my show. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have to. <laughs> cool. So this next song is called Swing. And um, I haven't played this song in years, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs>
you go. That turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> Thank you. Really, I'm just trying to warm up my hands. It worked. So this next song is called Gitka, and um, I'm going to use my other kalimba. This is the one I got at Guitar Center. That's the last Guitar Center shout out this show will have. <laughs> Oh, so um, this is a custom-made um, sky. The company is called Sky Top Guitars, and um, it's made to my specs. So here's the back. Hopefully, y'all can see. Wow. Hey, can y'all see up there? Okay, cool. So the the back is vaulted tamarind, which is basically just a fungus. And the front is Torito hold cicaspris. And these holes are wormholes, so they're natural. Um, yeah, like little worms just like the wood, and they made holes in it. And this wood is about 100 years old. Um, I picked it out because it looked cool and because it has the holes in it. So like, so this guitar has does have sound holes. They're just on the side. So they're just big holes on the side. And when I'm lap tapping and not plugged in, sometimes it can get muffled. But these holes help the sound to still like project out so you guys can hear. And um, yeah, it's a really cool guitar. I really like it. Um, it was a great investment. It cost a grip, but it was a great investment. <laughs> so y'all want a sky top guitar? guitar? By all means, but you know. Oh, wait, what? My guitar? <laughs> you thought bye excuse you sir you tried it but I'm not the one with that you're gonna have to wait for the next act to come through and get that guitar I mean I let you hold it but I, I other, you know alright cool <laughs> um, but this next song is called Gitka Here's this other kalimba. Same deal. I just have tape on it and hope it doesn't fall off.
Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, mind if I play one more? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. May one, <laughs> five. <laughs> Let's get through this next one. <laughs> but you guys have been so amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming out and chilling in this, you know, cool but nice weather at this really awesome place, the Orange Show. Um, shout out to Pete for having me here. Thank you, Pete. Shout out to Maui for the great hospitality. Um, shout out to everyone who works here. It was, it's been great. It's been a really, really fun time. Um, yeah. Thanks for wearing your fruit outfit. I mean, I had to wear my fruit outfit to the orange show. Like, oh wait, you, you guys didn't see the fruit mobile, did you? So there's a fruit mobile. It's just like a car, like covered in fruit, and it's awesome. It's really cool. But yes, uh, you're welcome. Um, I'm very pleased to have an excuse to wear this jumpsuit anywhere. And this is the perfect place. <laughs> yes, it is a jumpsuit. Thank you. So this last song is called Restless Heart. Um, and I use this cello bow because I want to and because I never learned how to play cello like I was supposed to in college. So I just kept the bow and was like, eh, whatever. Like, I can't take the bow back, so I might as well try to use it. <laughs> um, but thank you guys again so much for coming and making my Houston day be so fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I, will, I would love to come back. I'm definitely coming back. Houston is such a vibe. Like, it's a, it's a really cool vibe here. Like. I forgot to say I went to the Manil. I think it's, and it's like, their exhibits and stuff are awesome. Go to where? Ooh, yes, I really wanna go there next time I'm here. Um, Y'all have a lot of museums, a whole museum district? That's, see, that's such a vibe. Like, that's really cool. I like that, and on so many parks, too. But anyway, it's, it's cool. I'll definitely be back, y'all. But thank you guys for coming tonight. <laughs> and um, this last one is called Rest His Heart.
Thank uh -huh. 